Do I look like someone that's about to go into a retirement home in a few years? One like this, I'm getting mailed through like this. Now I know I've got polar neck on and some of you might think I'm ready for uh, shipping off to play croquet on the lawn. Um, but I'd like to think I'm probably not that person just yet. It can certainly wait a few years. And when you think about that kind of old approach to direct marketing or direct mail, and then think of the alternative uh, options that you've got. Uh, just imagine how much Google, Facebook, Instagram, and Amazon know about me. Google knows the searches that I make. It can tell, for example, that I very easily, that I've got young kids at school. It can tell um, as well, what type of purchases I'm looking to make. Instagram, Facebook, that group will know, for example, that you know, my likes are around things like snowboarding and football and triathlons. And Amazon can see directly uh, you know, what I've been purchasing. It can look at the stuff that I'm buying for myself and for my kids and it can make all sorts of inferences. So uh, that uh, type of knowledge is around and has been around for a long time now in digital and it's still surprising to see um, so many businesses that take that very blunt approach. So what we're really talking about here is marketing segmentation. Um, and uh, as a concept, you know, it's been around for a long while. I remember studying uh, back in the 80s, yes I am that old, a uh, book by uh, Philip Kotler, um, which you know was a, considered to be a bit of a bible of marketing. And in it, when he talks about segmentation, he talks even then, uh, and this book I think probably was written in the 70s, even then he's talking about the cruder forms of segmentation being geographic and demographic. So in the direct mail example I just showed you, it's just thinking, well, this guy's of a certain age-ish, he lives in a certain postcode, uh, therefore we'll send him some direct mail around our particular retirement home. Um, but what Kotler recommends um, is to really understand what he calls behavioristic or psychographic segmentation variables. Sounds posh, but it's basically a smart way of looking at how people actually behave. And an example he gives in the book, back from the 1970s, is how when Ford first introduced the, the Mustang, they got their marketing campaign kind of wrong. They, they, um, they found that whilst the marketing um, media and messages were aimed at young people, it was older people that ended up buying the Mustang. So what they concluded was it wasn't, the targeting shouldn't be at the chronologically young, but it should be at the psychologically young. And I certainly include myself in, in that bracket uh, as an avid 50s something snowboarder, I'm still psychologically young. Um, I'm sure all of us get similar kind of direct mail approaches still, and uh, it's frustrating, but it's, uh, it's an old approach and I'm still surprised people are using it.